Let me preface this video by saying that I could have been much nicer when it comes to when I was talking about that lady's brother who had a high GPA and joined the military. Let me be clear. I feel sorry for her brother. This country does not treat its military very well. And so many soldiers end up coming home with such bad PTSD that they can barely function. And then our government isn't really there for them at that point. Well, you know, they, they used these people for what they could and then throw them away. It's disgusting. And I feel sorry for the people who have been indoctrinated to think that, you know, if you join the military, we'll just do great things, right? Our military operations haven't been about protecting our freedom since way before I was born. What is it that the entire history of this country, we've not been at war at, what is it, a total of like 20 years? Or is it even less than that? You know, some minuscule number that we haven't been at war somewhere. Yeah, I don't think our government has good global intentions. Ain't it grand how the money changes hands? That's what it's all about. A group of people getting rich without a care in the world about how many people die as a result. It's kind of weird to me how so many of the people who say they don't trust the government and nobody should trust the government have no problem trusting the government when it comes to global affairs. Enough that they support the notion of joining the military. Anyway, that's not why I made this video. Okay, under God in the pledge is a big deal. It was added to the pledge in the 1950s during McCarthyism. It should never have happened. Putting in God we trust on our money is also a big deal. It first appeared on some of our currency in 1864, but was put on the rest of our currency in the 1950s during McCarthyism. The reason I say this is a big deal, even though so many people say this is trivial, is that this sort of thing essentially states that if you don't believe in God, then you don't believe in the country. That you can't truly be patriotic about the United States unless you associate it with the greatness of God. It gives these so-called patriots the ability to claim that they're more patriotic than everyone else. Yeah, it's a big deal. It's also why religion, as it's practiced in the United States, is so radically different than religion as it's practiced in other countries. So often, religion is mixed with nationalism. God, liberty, freedom. The notion that it's God that has given us these rights. Not that people got together and decided, hey, these are our rights. You know, that would be too accurate, right? We need to look at human rights in some sort of religious context. We're supposed to view every institution and every branch of government through a religious lens. According to this line of thinking, the military and law enforcement are also under God. And that's an important reason why you should respect them. You know, according to this line of thinking. As long as you view it through a religious lens, there's nothing authoritarian about any of this. You know, it's the notion that we don't have too many laws. God wants us to live a particular way, and the laws back that up. God doesn't want people doing drugs, so the war on drugs is fine, right? So, even though we have the highest percentage of our population in prison than any other country, I guess we still don't have too many laws. I guess we just have too many people not willing to follow them, right? You know, or something like that, right? Law, order, God, liberty, freedom. I judge a country on how it treats its citizens. What the quality of life is for the poorest in the country. How good of a public education system it has. How inexpensive college is. How it treats its prisoners and how big of a percentage of its population is in prison to begin with. What kind of wages and work conditions are people subjected to? How the homeless are treated? How much it keeps up with infrastructure? How the police treat its citizens? How minorities and immigrants are treated? How women are treated? That sort of thing. I do not judge the worth of a country on how rich it can make people. How extravagant of lifestyles it can support. How easy it is to start a pyramid scheme. How easy it is to become a snake oil salesman. How free people are to be as mean and greedy as they want. How big corporations are allowed to become. How much power those corporations have over the populace. Or on how many different brands of canned diced tomatoes you typically find at the grocery store. Now, if I were going with religious nationalism, I would be stating that this is the greatest nation to have ever existed in the history of civilization. You know, it just is, right? If you disagree, move somewhere else. 
I kind of like this person in the comments of my last video saying to everyone, move to China. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I'm supposed to view this country through a religious lens. No thanks. And that doesn't make me anti-American. I want this country to be better for everyone. No, I'm not going to move to a nice European country. I don't have the means to do such. So I'm going to promote making the country I do live in better. I hope that's okay.